We want to introduce you to a brave family from Roseville. They are opening up about something very painful and personal because they know that talking about their loss could save others. Brian Colon was one of 777 Minnesotans to die by suicide last year. Brian was an elementary school principal and a recent newlywed. For the first time, his family is sharing their struggle to find help. They're sharing it with WCCO's Jennifer Merrily, hoping to be a light for others who maybe feel left in the dark. A lot of people loved Brian Coland. Brian and I were twins, and he continued to be my best friend all the way until he died. Kimberly and Brian married in May of 2021, planning their lives together, full of hopes and dreams for the future. Brian was mesmerized. He just loved people so deeply and really wanted to know more about how and why. By the looks of things, his life was good. Brian worked in the Roseville area schools for nearly 30 years, principal at Emmett D. Williams and later at Edgerton Elementary. When I went to his school, he knew every child's name, right, all 400 or some. After the wedding, Brad and Brian went camping. He traveled with Kimberly to visit family in Costa Rica. And then came some warning signs, sleepless nights and significant weight loss. I think there was thoughts going through his head long before there was a manifestation of a problem. He was um, able to articulate on July 21st, 22nd, that he was struggling with suicide ideation. The family efforted help for Brian. He had health care. He had support. It was actually tough to keep up with where he was at. You know, he ended up going to five different facilities over a two and a half month time period. They say navigating the system proved to be challenging, waiting for space, starting over each time. I was beside myself with trying to figure out how is there consistency here and how does information get shared and the family get heard through this process. And it was incredibly taxing. Brian was an adult. But Kimberly felt his decision making was compromised. He was scared. Yeah. He definitely. was deeply, deeply scared. A few things that grew in him during this time the shame and the stigma mm -hmm. that mental health and suicide. Brian was in a facility in October of last year when he died by suicide while out on an unsupervised walk. They thought he was safe. I don't know what more we could have done. The pain was what he wanted to get rid of. Mm -hmm. The pain of shame. The pain of feeling like he let everybody down. A year later, waves of sadness remain. I miss him every day, but the, the pain isn't quite as sharp. Every day I wake up, oh yeah, oh yeah. He's gone. They know there are other Bryants out there, other families struggling to get their loved ones help. In talking about their journey, they hope they are helping. I think Brian has given us the gift of his story, and we are the keepers. He educated people and community for a lifetime, and mm -hmm. even in this death, there's a lesson mm -hmm. in education. Jennifer Merrily, WCCO 4 News. Brian also leaves behind two children. If you or someone you know needs help, call 988. And there you can reach a trained crisis counselor who can help.